Douglas County leaders say prepare to see your property valuation skyrocket. Yeah, I'm Rob McCartney and the county assessor blames dramatically increasing home sale prices. 2016, the median closed price for a home was about $160,000. Okay, fast forward to 2021. That number was close to 260,000. KETV Newswatch 7's Michelle Bandura spoke with a realtor who says that's if you, can, if you can even find a home that's for sale. Michelle. Well, Julie and Rob, knock on any door in any Douglas County neighborhood and the homeowners will answer and tell you they are bracing for higher property valuations again. Thanks in part to what the Douglas County Assessor calls bidding wars between people who want to buy the few available homes on the market right now. Take a good look at this for sale sign. It probably won't be up for long. I tell my buyers that if something comes available, we have to jump. Realtor Julie Schaefer has been an agent for 21 years and she says in this seller's market, buyers need to get creative and have cash. We're having to bid 20, 30, $40,000 over and cover differences of because we know it's not going to appraise. So buyers are having to come up with this kind of cash in order to win a home. At last check in Douglas County, there are 335 available homes, which includes new construction condos and townhomes. The number usually stays around 1100. It's crazy. And each year we keep saying, maybe it'll stabilize, maybe it'll stabilize. Douglas County Assessor Diane Badiato presented her annual State of the Real Estate Market Report to Commissioners Tuesday. It's not the values that, that completely interfere with your pocketbook, but it's the, it's the taxes on those values that are, that are making the difference in your pocketbook. Because actual value depends on buyers and sellers in the state mandated formula, Badiato says most property owners will see higher valuations, which means higher property taxes. She called on the elected officials to make a change. We value only, and it's up to you and the city and the schools and the state and everybody else to set their tax rates on what they deem fit in their budgets that create that revenue. We create no revenue. And we found one homeowner with a different sign in their yard, property tax relief. And that's what everybody wants. Badiato says that the appraisers are currently in the preliminary stages. And if you don't like what they come up with, if you want to contest it, she says, bring all your proper documents down to her office and they will take a look at that valuation again. The county does have until March 25th to get those property uh, proposed values into the Department of Revenue. Reporting live, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7. All right.